Hi guys, Allison here with another Fuse Glass Friday video. This week we're continuing the Halloween spooky theme. I decided to make a like the inside of a witch's hut here. I've already drawn out a uh, a sketch for what I'm intending to make today. Um, let me bring it up a little bit closer so you can see. This is a four by five sheet of glass. Um, I'm not 100% sure what the color is called, but it's uh, an opaque sort of um, swirly color. It gives it a little bit, dim a little bit of dimension. Uh, I have a cauldron bubbling with some potion inside. I have drawn a table with, you know, little bits of spooky stuff on top. Also, I'll add another shelf up here with again like a pumpkin, probably some books, a skull. We have a little spider web and spider coming down in the corner. Of course, a witch's broom, and this will be a black cat taking a nap under the table here. Uh, maybe some dried out herbs hanging from the ceiling as well. So that is the basic sketch. Um, let's see how much of these tiny details I can put in such a tiny, tiny little project here. Um, I do have a a series that I've done of miniature rooms that are the size 4x5 and I have been able to you know get pretty detailed with them so I figured I would do you know sort of a Halloween theme um, in that little collection there so let me zoom out a little bit just so you can see me working here so I think I'm going to be starting with the cauldron So that's a good start to the cauldron there. Um, and now let's do the, I'm gonna build the table, a little wood table here and a wood shelf along the top using the same color. Now that I have it here, maybe it's a little bit too close to the background, so I'm going to cut a couple more strips off of this color where it's a bit darker. I can have a little bit more contrast with the background color there. Yeah, that looks a little bit better to me. So let's see, let's do the skinnier one up here for the shelf. And this guy for the table. Um, I do have, I, I didn't show it in my uh, tools video because honestly I forgot about it <laughs> but I do have a cutting system it's the mini beetles bits cutting system uh, that you can use to cut strips and um, geometric shapes 
uh, you know, to repeat the same shape over and over again accurately. I, I don't use it often. Really, the only reason why I use um, that straight edge is, is to cut the bases. Um, you know, you see me cutting things like this freehand. That's typically how I prefer to work, and for what the type of work that I do, that's usually okay. I don't care so much about being super exact um, and perfect in lining up precisely. Maybe in the future I will use that a little bit more, but for right now what I'm doing, I don't care to use it. How cute is that? So let me get these table legs down. I'll make sure I leave room to get my broom over here, so I'm just going to move the table legs in a bit. And there's still plenty of room under there to make a cute little sleeping black cat. Okay, we'll come back to that. Maybe I'll start on the cat now. So I know my last project was also a black cat, but I didn't really think that I could make a witch's house theme and not have a black cat. That didn't seem, that wasn't really an option. So we're gonna have our little, little sleeping guy under here. I'm going to leave the cat for now. I can't figure out why it looks weird to me. Um, maybe it doesn't look weird. Pretty cute. Okay, uh, you know what? Whiskers. Let's give him some whiskers.
So I already have all these pre-cut uh, books. I make also small bookshelves. Um, so I have these all pre-cut. So I'm just going to see if any of these work so I don't have to cut new ones. For a book end next to these guys, I'm gonna use. I have uh, some pre fired dichroic dots. So I think I'm gonna use one of these there. It's sort of like a book end slash maybe crystal ball looking item. Let's see. I'm trying to see if I should use a blue one or more of a. Yeah, I like that one better. Next up, we have, I'm just going to put a little skull there, let's see how we can do with that. Um, down here, this was some like little toadstool mushrooms. This was going to be just like a flask with some sort of liquid in it. And then this guy, this bigger bottle, I thought I would try to do like a bottle with floating creepy eyeballs in it. Um, not something I've ever attempted before. So let's see how that goes. There's um, a thin clear. So I have this work surface that I use, of course you see me uh, every video I'm working on this. I it, It's helpful, you know, as, as just a physical surface to cut the glass on for me, but then it also has these great guidelines on it. So I often will, you know, line up the glass with the guidelines and then I can, uh, you know, make a shape a little bit more symmetrical, a little bit more accurate if I need to. So for something like a bottle that I do want to be pretty symmetrical, this is definitely helpful.
This was supposed to be like a little, you know, one of those clear dome containers with a wood bottom with like plants in it or something. So see if we can work on that. I think I am gonna end up going with this color. I know it, it looks very similar now to the background, but when it fires, it's actually an opaque, um, more of like a, a cream color. So I'm gonna use that for the broom handle, and I think that'll be, I think that'll be enough contrast with the background, but we'll see. So I'm going to just go through my scrap stringers over here and uh, make the little broom sweeper part. I don't know what that's called. That's what we're going for. So for, I'm going to add a couple little dots on the top of here just for some detail. I could use for it, um, 
I think what I'm going to do is just use a bit of stringer and just nip them really, really tiny. Add a little face to the skull there. I'm going to use a piece of ribbon to do that. Noodle ribbon, depending on what you call it. that I just made. That can be the body. And then we're just gonna give them some teeny tiny stringer legs. Uh, I'm gonna look through here. Sometimes, you know, there is some variety in the, in how thick the stringers come. Like this is a pretty thin one. That, oh, this one might be thinner. Versus sometimes they are a bit thicker. I'm just looking for a pretty thin one because we're working so small here. I think that, that'll be fine. No, no spiders have eight legs. Let's see if it looks silly with that many. It might be too small. I might to only be able to give them six, but let's see. Well, he's basically all legs, but that's okay. I think that looks pretty cute, little fuzzy guy there. So now what we can do is put some sort of little plant in there. I think I'm just going to do some green stringers. Not really be too specific. I think it should just be like a little spindly something. I already have, I mean, just in my stringer bin, this was like some that I had bent earlier that didn't end up using, so I'll just throw some of that in there.
I'm not sure that this is really reading how I want it to. Maybe we'll try just having a little bunch hanging here from the ceiling without a long string. See how that looks. with that. So a little bit of extra glue here. Okay, where are we now? So now I can add my little bubbling cauldron. I'm just going to use some frit to do that. I used an opaque green first. I'm just going to spray it with some hairspray to stick it down. Then I have these little clear dots that I had pre-made. Not specifically for this project, but they were just already made. So we're going to use these. Put these. Maybe those will look like bubbles in there. And then I'm also going to add some translucent green for it as well. I'm going to give this a spray with a hairspray and then I'm just going to go and sort of uncover those bubbles a little bit. Um, I had somebody ask on a video recently if the black part, oops, I'm just trying to get to focus here, if the black part on the bent stringer will burn off in the kiln. It does. Um, I also responded that I just don't like to get that black stuff all over my fingers, so that's why I typically uh, just use you know, a little rag to wipe it off once it's cool enough to touch. But if you do fire, bent stringer like this in the kiln, the black, uh, so it will just disappear in the firing. Let that cool off to the side until I can touch it. Um, what else do we have to do? I want to give my little cat a pink nose. Don't forget about that.
That's too big. works better for me. Okay. Oh, we have our little eyeballs that I didn't finish. Okay, so let's do that now. So I think what I'm going to do for that is I have, this is like a mixed container of confetti, which is like just really, really, really thin pieces of glass. Um, I think what I'm going to do is create the irises, so the colored part of the eyes out of this, and then just do a little black dot on top for the pupil part. So let's see how that works out. Hey, that looks pretty good. Um, for the pupil, I am just, I'm going to use this, uh, it's not paint, it's enamel powder mixed with the liquid medium. So I'm going to, I'm just going to use that. It's going to be easier than trying to get something so, so tiny for the pupils. I'm looking for a paintbrush. Kind of hard to see on the purple. That's okay though. That looks pretty creepy. So that's what we're going for. I like it. Okay, we are back here. Um, I think the video cut off as I was just adding a little bit more detail to the fire here. I do apologize about that. I just added the uh, embers down here and some smoke coming off. Let me pick this up. I think I am all set. I'm I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I think it's pretty cute, a little spooky, and I will be firing this on a tack fuse, um, and I will be back tomorrow with the results of this. See you then. Hi guys, welcome back. It's the next day. I have my finished fired little witch hut project here. Uh, I really do like how it turned out. Um, I especially like the little eyeball jar and the little skull up here. I, I think it's, I just think it's a really cute piece. I'm pretty, pretty proud of this project. Uh, let me zoom you guys in so you can see some of the details a little bit more. Um, like I was saying earlier, I do have a series of these small rooms. They're not all witch themed, of course. I have little, like, 
miniature living rooms. I will put links in the description box below to my website and also my social media if you'd like to check some of those out. Uh, and if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. I put a new Fuse Glass Friday project out every week, every Friday. And I will see you next week. Bye!